Bruh. <laughs> this chick's in her 20s. What would you have me do, sir? Don't know how to drive yet. <laughs> Don't know how to drive. Protect her of Rome after I die. This, oh, you're recording? This bitch lying. <laughs> let, me get, let me have your car and we'll see. You're lying, aren't you? <laughs> that's, that's some, what kind of bullshit is that? What do you mean? <laughs> how do you not know how to drive yet? Why would I know how to drive? Show them your face. No. Why? Because <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself now. Yeah, you should be. You guys are winning, right, ladies? <laughs> This chick you just saw <clears throat> is my age, so 23. Is she 23? Is she my age or you're younger? I think, no, I think she's my age, yeah. But somehow she managed to get a master's degree. I only have a bachelor's degree in engineering, but she has a master's degree in architect. It's not architect engineering, it's the... Um, designing part of it, the what you call it, the interior designing part of it, part of uh, kind of a degree. So she's not actually like her degree is actually not in bachelor's in science, it's bachelor's in arts and architecture. That's how that reads. If you go in architectural engineering, if that's what the degree name says, then it's in a bachelor's in science degree. For those of you guys who don't know the difference. And she has $80,000 worth of student loan debt. She told me all of this, by the way. Now, ladies, sure, I'll give you the driving part of it, okay? Because I know that a lot of you ladies out there do know how to drive. So this chick not knowing how to drive, okay, whatever. <clears throat> but 23, with an architect degree, not even an engineering degree, just an interior design is what she really is, with $80,000 worth of student loan debt, and no job. Oh yeah, she doesn't have any job. After she graduated, she moved back to her grandparents and her dad is paying for her hotel. When she's not staying with her grandparents, she's staying in a hotel and her father is paying for it. Throughout her entire college career, her father would go over to her dorm every weekend and he was kind of like a helicopter parent, but he would go over to our dorm every weekend and cook for her because she doesn't know how to cook either. Yeah. No job, that much student loan debt, only 23, doesn't uh, barely ever work out. She's just skinny. She just washes what she eats. I don't think she smokes. I don't know. I don't think she smokes. She drinks, right? I met this girl on Tinder when I used to be on Tinder back in 2019. Uh, we matched. <clears throat> I tried to hang out with her. It didn't work out. And then two years later, three years later, what is it? 2022. So I recently hung out with her at the end of 2021. So yeah, almost two years later, her Snapchat came up on my suggested list on my Snapchat. So what happened was when she was in, when, when her and I matched in Tinder, she was in a college town. She's from the same town I live in. So I think she was here for winter break. And that's how, that's when we matched. But then she went back to college. So it just never worked out, you know, it kind of fizzled out. But then when she came back here after college, her Snapchat popped up on my suggested list. I think Snapchat detects your location and puts people or people who you have mutual friends with on Snapchat, they put that put those people on your suggested list. So I added her. And then she told me, hey, we matched on Tinder before. I completely forgot about this chick. But I don't remember chick who I, chicks who I hit on last week. This chick whose number I, uh, who, whose number I try to get, who, who, I, who I try to hit on her at the gym, I gave her my number, she never texted me. All right, whatever, it's an L, I took an L. But I don't remember her name. So that's how I uh, hit her up the second time. And then I was like, oh, okay, so you know me. She's like, yeah, yeah, I know you, blah, blah, blah. I used to follow you on Instagram, whatever. And then we linked up. We went, I, to I told her, all right, let's go get a drink. Okay, cool. She asked me to pick her up. And I was like, huh? Because usually nowadays chicks never ask you to pick you up on a first date. 
that you have never met, right? I was like, uh, okay, sure, I'll pick you up, I don't care. And that's when, when I picked her up, I asked her, so what, where's your car, what's wrong with it? She's like, oh, I don't know how to drive, I never learned how to drive. Huh? Anyways, and that's when, that's when, that was the biggest red flag to me, and I was like, all right, what is this chick about? So I started asking her questions about her. She told me, obviously. <clears throat> That's when I figure out all of this. So she doesn't know how to cook. Crappy lifestyle. Lives in a hotel because she probably doesn't even qualify to live in an apartment. Nobody probably will even rent to her. Daddy's girl, daddy's pretty much taking care of her. And she lives with her grandparents. But she got her education. She got a college degree. So she must be successful, right? Right, ladies? That's what y'all think, right? I have another video coming up, or I think I've already posted it by now, where I pretty much broke down how much money you're really taking in after you graduate and after you get your first job. You guys are literally broke as a freaking joke out here. And you want to preach this strong and independent crap. Yeah, sure. You're independently broke. And how are you strong? You flip out when you see a spider that's not even as big as my, the palm of my hand. How is that strength? You will fold and crumble if a barbarian came to your door. The only reason, and I mean literally the only reason you guys have the audacity and the nerves to keep preaching this nonsense that you're strong and independent is because we live in a civilized society where nobody's out here attacking you. But if someone, if the wrong guy, if the wrong person, wrong girl, wrong guy, or we get invaded or attacked, something somehow, some from somewhere, the wrong person comes up to you and really puts you in your place, because you can't defend yourself against real strength. I'm just letting you know that. Do you know what you're going to do when, some, uh, when a real life-threatening situation presents itself to you? Because I know you guys are unstrapped. You guys are trying to make laws that uh, ban firearms, right? But that's a different conversation. We're not going to go into that right now. So I know that you don't possess real strength. So when you get confronted with real life-threatening situation, you're going to call 911. That's your go-to. By the time you even dial 911, your lights are going to be turned out. I'm just letting you know that. Because a real bad guy doesn't care about his freedom, about anything. That's when your strength, real strength, is really going to be tested. Just so you know that. <clears throat> so ladies... Please stop with this nonsense. You guys are literally living paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. Don't get me wrong. Some of these degrees that you are getting, you can, you can make wealth out of it. Yeah, if you sacrifice, but you don't. As soon as you graduate and you get your first job, making not even 45 grand a year, you start blowing all your money away. Some imbecile left a comment in one of my videos where I talked about uh, a message to fat and ugly women. I think I made that video about a year and a half, two years ago. That video, I think, has 11,000 views. It was pretty successful, semi-successful. <clears throat> and uh, I triggered a whole bunch of freaking people. I <laughs> Go watch that video, fellas. It was actually freaking hilarious. I can't, I can't imagine me talking like that now because I'm trying to censor myself, you know. But I, even now now and then, I would go back and watch that video and crack myself up. Go watch that video. I titled it, A Message to Fat and Ugly Women, right? But this imbecile left a comment saying that, ladies, all you have to do is become financially independent. Then you don't have to put up with men like, men like Zeke and you don't have to put up with this kind of crap. Oh, really? Okay. Let me know how much, you, how much money you have and how much of that money can really help you if you have type 2 diabetes. If you get a heart attack from high cholesterol. If you get a stroke from high cholesterol. If you have a disease from being obese and overweight. Let me know. 
what money can really do for you at that point. Okay? You can have all the freaking money in the world, but, you, but, but if you have a disease because how crappy your lifestyle is and there's not much doctors can do about it because you let the conditions get so much worse, none of your money can save you. Are you kidding me? You guys completely missed the whole freaking point of that video. I even talked about it. Ladies, I'll be a personal trainer if you need me to be. I make these videos for your own benefit. But you're so freaking stupid that you're too busy wasting your time into, into talking crap on other people who have their stuff figured out. That same imbecile who left that freaking comment started commenting on my other videos saying, oh, you're an engineer? You have real estate properties? Haha, <laughs> you're a joke. <laughs> you must be new to the channel, huh? Just because you live on your mama's basement and suck on your mama's titties to feed yourself because you're so broke you can't afford any good food, doesn't mean the rest of us are like that. Doesn't mean we're, the rest of us are living off of welfare and government handouts. Some people just can't fathom to get it through their head that there are actually people out there who are successful in their life. That's how big of a loser these people are. That, that, that the, cons the idea, the concept of success doesn't even exist in their entire freaking fake world that they have created for themselves. It doesn't even exist. They're like, success who? Suck who? Who you want me to suck off? That's what your ladies are really good at. Sucking cock and riding dick. That's what this chick who you just saw is good at. She was amazing in bed. That, that's her skill. Imagine being a human being so worthless that that's your only skill is being good in a bedroom. How pitiful and shameful does that sound, ladies? And you guys are winning out here? That's what you want to tell me? Do you even know the real life bills you have to pay after you graduate? So this little job that you are hoping to get after you graduate, you keep telling everybody on social media and you keep making TikTok videos, oh, just focus on yourself, you know, just focus, just do this, just hard work. What are you doing all this hard work for? What are you even making all these sacrifices for? What you, first of all, you're not making sacrifices. You guys pick easy ass majors. And if I, pick, if I had a major like that in college, I'll be partying every night and still keep straight A's. That right there should just tell you that, it, that college is not for you. When you're struggling in basic economy, history, literature, English courses. You're struggling in basic ass majors and you still want to go to college. No, you, should, you, get, you got your priorities all messed up, all wrong, ladies. College is not for everybody, even though they try to make it seem like it is. If you are not book smart, like it doesn't come to you naturally, don't go to college and waste your time and money because you're going to be going to college for some crappy ass degree and piss your time and money off and end up like this chick. How long do you think it's going to take this chick to pay that $80,000 worth of student loan debt plus her life expenses that are coming up? You guys don't even realize that after 30, since you've been letting your body go to crap and you're not working out and keeping your body in check, after 30, you're going to start having health issues. You're going to start needing to go to the doctor. Who's going to pay for that health insurance, those medical bills? Just the medical bills by itself. We're not even talking about rent, car payments on your Nissan Altima, Honda Civic. We're not even talking about your uh, utilities your food because you guys love to go out and eat all the damn time right you know that you make you save a whole bunch, bunch of freaking money and it's healthy for you if you cook at home right but no and the drinks you guys buy on the weekends oh i'm strong and independent i can buy my own drinks i don't need no man do you even keep a spreadsheet tracking down how, your expenses 
Money is coming in. Sure, I get it. As I said, you can definitely become wealthy with the little money you're making if you just sacrifice. But you won't. You don't even know how money works. Most men, most people in general don't, doesn't, uh, don't know how money works. And you're in a pretty strong independence to me. You are a slave to your boss. You are not independent. You are a slave to the bank who you owe all this debt to. You are not independent. You, you don't have freedom. If you stop working tomorrow, everything that you own will be taken away from you. You call that freedom? If you don't wake up and get to the rat race and the traffic race, 7.30 in the morning every morning, and take your petty ass to work every morning, your life's going to stop. I'm not saying 9 to 5 is bad. It's, it's, it's somewhere to start, right? But you need to become your own boss eventually. You're too busy about worrying what's in my pocket, Zeke's pocket, when there's a hole in yours. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys, but this channel is not about me. This channel is about the message. And I really hope some of you take this message and become even more successful than I am. I really hope that. If I didn't want the good for you, if I didn't want good things to happen to you, I wouldn't have come in here and give this free knowledge to you guys every single freaking day. And you can't even subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram as ZekePeak00. <laughs> hey, man, no hard feelings, all right? Do what you want to do, bro. It's your life. But before you tell me the ladies are winning out here, just know this chick who I just showed you is the norm. Yeah, sure, ladies might know how to drive, but they're all in college, pissing off their time, going after the sorry-ass degrees. And they're going to turn out at the back end and get a job, a sorry-ass job, who's going to give them a sorry-ass paycheck. And they're going to be a tax slave to the system, and they're going to be a slave to their boss. And then when they become 30, 40, their boss is going to kick them out of the office and going to replace them with a younger, hotter, and quicker version of them. Because, you know, as you age, your brain slows down. So they're going to replace them with a better version of themselves. And they're going to pay that better version of themselves less money. Because an entry-level person always makes less money than somebody who's been in the corporate for a longer period of time. So the company is making money, saving money. Why would, it, why would they keep you when they can hire somebody and have them do the exact same job as you while paying them less than you. Normal common sense. Economy 101. <laughs> Anyways, hope this one made sense. Like and subscribe.